Okay. I need to figure out how to do cheats real quick. I'm going to be sneezing a lot, by the way. Cheats fun fact because it won't tell me. Yeah, so I gotta get get take a minute. L and R, you f fuck. IGN didn't tell me that shit. Alright. Okay, yeah, so actually. Three. Alright, we're ready. Ready, boys? Three, two, one, go. So, I'm gonna have to skip the levels, which, uh, some of the levels I need to skip is, uh, Goofy Goober, uh, I'm Ready Depression. That's one I have to skip because it shows the ending part. You know, the, hey, hey, get up. Come on, buddy, let's go home. Come on, pal. You know that. Now, I know this movie inside out. So I know exactly what happens. Which means I'm not allowed to hurt anything. Because he... Spongebob has not hurt in a single fucking soul in this game. Which means boss fights are excluded. Which is going to be a pain in the ass. But I like you have to have 50. So you, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna uh, gonna do with boss fights. Also not allowed to upgrade, which will make uh, King Neptune difficult. And also not allowed to skip cutscenes either, because cutscenes are a part of the movie. Yeah, this is sort of going to be like Ash percent uh, Pokemon Red. Okay, before we become the manager. Hope I did that correctly, right? Yeah, right before we do that. There. Because we need to do that. I actually have, like, allergies right now. So, yeah. Let's hear about that family. That's actually part of an unused scene. Where he goes, Bingo. Yeah. In favor, Phil. What? Say cheese. Yeah, the trailer, the book, and the game all show unused scenes that weren't in the movie. Which is sad. Technically, I only need 40. Because I just need enough to get a uh, cruise bubble. Let's be for real, it's cruise bubble. We also need to watch this cutscene. I'm just really curious if it's even possible to beat this game while recreating the entire movie. Okay, we can skip. 
skip that part. Alright, next up is, after this, it would be on to King Neptune, but since we don't have, but since he is on a cutscene, we have to go straight to Sandwich Dragon. Killers, crooks, and monsters everywhere. But what's worse is that there's an evil giant cyclops or that preys on any innocent sea creatures. Don't let him catch you, because if he does, he'll take you back to his lair and he'll never be seen again. She's pretty, SpongeBob. Here, take this. What's in here? It's a magical bag of winds. I stole them from my father. You're hot! Right. I know that part, but I don't know the other part. We'll be blown back home. Thanks, Mindy. Don't worry, Mr. Fabs. Patrick Swigger and I pass. Uh, I mean, Patrick and I are, are gonna get that crown back and save you from King Neptune's wrath. You have nothing to worry about. Your life is in our hands. Oh. Patrick, let's go get that crown. Right. Now, I am allowed to get hurt. That... I'm not allowed to hurt other things, but I, but myself is allowed to get hurt. Because, like, come on. Like, this game's basically impossible without dying or getting hurt. And it doesn't help that I'm not allowed to upgrade either. This will probably be my own, like, this is my first ever, like, serious speedrun, by the way. Is, uh, Sponge... Is, uh, Spongebob movie, movie percent. Spongebob movie, Spongebob movie percent. Maybe I should speedrun the actual movie. That'd be interesting. Oh my god. You guys know those, like, American Dad speedruns? I should do that with, like, the actual Spongebob movie. Here, let me switch it back to the timer so you guys can see what I'm at. Skipped uh, the, the depression scene. Uh, I'm ready depression because like now it's supposed to take like place like when Patrick wakes up. In the original movie, SpongeBob wakes up and then immediately goes to Mr. Krabs uh, to say, "I've got something to say about Mr. Krabs," you know. Okay, this one was the one I'm worried about. There's a lot of enemies in, like, one place in this level. Okay. There is a way to skip something in this. And I'm really happy I get to show it this time.
five. Fuck. Okay. So, since I can't continue, I have to do one of these. One, two, okay. Fuck, I actually have to do something here. Sonic Wave Guitar Challenge. Oh, wait, wait! What the fuck am I doing? If you don't know, there's a really hard trick that if you time it just right, you can get over there. It will require dying. But I actually remember how to get over there. I'll only use a move if it's completely necessary. But right here it isn't. Because if I can do this correctly. What will happen is it'll set like sort of a spawn point over there if I if I do this correctly. It's a really difficult trick to do, but I remember it so well. I remember doing it. I wasn't far enough. Trust me, I remember this so well. Because I remember doing it. Fuck! I was right there too. Like, it's, al it's almost a frame-perfect jump. Again, I am allowed to die, but, it, like, I will lose time if I do. Son of a bitch. Trust me, I'm not goofing around. This is a real thing. No. I don't like how Spongebob does that. Requires grabbing that. We're at least getting close enough to it. <coughs> Once you're up there, <coughs> you can't really do much. <coughs> Fuck. <coughs> Son of a bitch. <coughs> My problem was I moved too far left. I hope I'm done sneezing. Yeah, this this is a really difficult thing I remember doing, but I honestly do remember doing it. Oh! Ah, oh, fuck. You see how he did that? I was making progress. Come on. There's like one pixel that you can grab onto. I remember doing this like twice. You gotta line yourself up. Damn. I'm not goofing around, trust me. thing was like like going over there oh fuck son of a bitch why is this now difficult Unless, of course, they patched it <laughs> in the GameCube version. I remember doing it on PS2. <laughs> Trust me, I set a spawn point before. Wow. Okay, I just I just fucking learned something. 
The Five Nights at Freddy's scream is from a movie. What on earth happened there? Am I glitch hunting? Maybe. Second I pressed X, the music changed. Son of a bitch. Oh god damn, I was extremely close. You have to go from like the, like, like the edge of like right here, and get and grab the edge of that. Like it's really difficult to do, but if you can do it correctly, then like you can completely skip uh, pushing this. But it's incredibly difficult to do, and I remember doing it. Remember, I'll only unlock a move if I absolutely have to. Son of a bitch. I remember this so well. Trust me, I've done it before. I didn't do it on GameCube. I did it on PlayStation 2, which would probably be a better choice. I want to buy, like, an old model PS3 to play PS2 games on it. Like, play PS2 on NHD. That's be the only reason I want it. Yeah, I'll give it one more attempt. I think this is a PS2 only glitch. But there is another glitch in this level. I fucking did it! I don't know how I did it, but I did it! Now there's just one problem about this glitch. Do not want to get hit! Uh, you can't do the same over here. Because you need to be able to get up there. So yeah, which means... Holy shit, I can't believe I actually did it. I wasted a lot of time, but I did it. Wrong button. There we go. See, I told you, I'll only... I'll only use these if I have to, which means I'm still not allowed to hurt anything. I'm also not allowed to do sponge ball challenges. Uh, combat arena, sponge ball, and floating blocks are all not allowed. Uh, here's another level with a really easy glitch to do. Uh, if you get over here. I remember this one really well. Be right here. And, yeah, I'm not allowed to hurt enemies, so these guys will get in the way. Please. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Go away. <sighs> there we go. Yeah, this is just a dumb little thing that I want to try. Yeah, you will have to have two cheats, apparently. That's yeah, what I've learned. You have to have two cheats. This has given me hope. I can get there. Okay. Uh, that jump actually is impossible. I think I've tried grind grinding that jump once. part is uh, playing this level for uh, six days. No, playing this level for five days. That's the main thing. Not this. No, you have to destroy this. I 
I... There's only one level that I think is incredibly difficult. And that's, uh... Actually, not really a level, but a token that I think is really difficult to get. That token being in, uh... Do I have to do that? Like, I think I made it far enough in this level. I'm really disappointed that I can't at least get another token. Yeah, I'd say, uh, the main rule for this category is that you have to have two cheats enabled. That being, uh, all question marks or tasks and, and, uh, all moves unlocked. Okay, that's the farthest I can go. Uh, skip this level. Bubble Bomb Baby Hunt! I don't think we don't know how to weed them out. If this has a bathroom, it'd be perfect. This requires cheats. Should probably go back to the tower. <laughs> Look at that. I don't care. Yeah, where's the bathroom? It's uh, right over there. Uh, this the bathroom's right here. Here we go. We're in the bathroom, guys. <laughs> um, no. What we need to do is get SpongeBob to yell at us. We're gonna have to go on the long journey to the bathroom. You see, Patrick really has to go potty. I don't remember this part. <laughs> SpongeBob fucking died. I don't see any enemies. Uh, where's the closest part to the bathroom? I guess you could do that. Like, he didn't technically hurt him. Where did this one spawn? Okay, there it is. Wow, I can't believe. I beat this game twice, and yet I can't find these. There we go. If you guys hurt each other, that would be like perfect. Patrick never did that move, by the way. <laughs> but I'm literally only doing it because it's fast. I'm sorry for breaking the rules of the actual movie, but like, I don't know. He may have did that. He may have did that move before. We don't exactly know. We don't exactly know where that bathroom's located either. So, he could've... Like, we never see Patrick go into the bathroom. So, he could've did that move to the bathroom. What? Was I too slow? Okay, I was about to say. I don't ever remember this one going down. Gotta skip that. What? Stop acting like chicken! Hey. 
Remember, we're recreating the entire movie. <coughs> God, I'm fucking sneezing up a storm, dude. It's all because I didn't take my allergy medicine. <laughs> Damn. I am fucking dying. <laughs> Patrick needs to go now. Does Miss Tuffsies need to go party? Uh. Patrick never picked up anything in the entire movie. The only thing he picked up was the crown. Uh, you guys want to hear an interesting fact about the SpongeBob movie? Uh, the word SpongeBob in the entire movie, including the pirates at the beginning, and uh, the like, very end after the end credits, even though that, even though they never said SpongeBob in that scene. Uh, is this the bathroom? But yeah, like I was saying, the word, the name SpongeBob was said in the movie a total of 50 times. I find that really interesting. Now, if you go to the website with the entire SpongeBob movie script, I think you'll say something like 52 or 53, because that's like also including the like title and everything. But the name Sponge the SpongeBob, oh fuck. But the name Spongebob, not Spongebob Squarepants, but just Spongebob, has been said a total of 50 times. In the entire movie. And I find that really interesting. And don't forget, that's also c counting the uh, song at the beginning of the movie. Again, we have no clue where that bathroom is actually located, so he could have done all this shit. <laughs> Just to get to the bathroom. Same thing with Spongebob. If I had a moon jump code, that would probably make this, like, way easier. Why are there so many people wanting to kill me? I just remembered Patrick can't do, like, an air attack. Okay. That will make it explode. Then we need to switch to Spongebob. Wrong button. There we go. That's a fucking creepy ass. My animation. Alright, then we need to go to the door. Drived. We're gonna make one loop. We're gonna make one loop around uh, the. Yeah, we're gonna make one loop around because there was no keys. Like, again, we have no fucking clue. It did take them five days. Hold on. Let me check one thing real quick. I like to pet Mr. Whiskers. Oh yeah, so so they could have actually spent like five days getting fucking keys. No, they didn't. Okay, right, guys, let's be for real. No, the fuck they didn't. We're gonna make one loop, and that's it. Uh, we're not allowed to use nitros because they never did. I will have one rule, uh, the paddy wagon should not be allowed to break. We got us a tomboy. This one I would never say that. 
Remember, one loop, and then you go on to the next level. But you shall not allow that paddy wagon to break. If it does, you're restarting. Watch as I just get all the keys. Okay, never mind. You are allowed to collect treasure chests if it's, if it's like in your path. Like, it doesn't really have anything to do with the movie. And then we're not allowed to defeat bosses. Next up is Rock Slide, which never happened in the movie. So, now that we're men. We're not allowed to hurt a monster. So we need to see how far we can make it. I'm sorry. I already ha I have it. Right, okay. He likes me. Psh, psh. You don't have enough Goover tokens to be a man. Hey, shut the fuck up, Mindy. I'm already a man. I have the statue. <clears throat> okay, remember, not allowed to hurt anything. But they are allowed to hurt us. Remember. That's not how it goes, you fucking goof. Where am I? Okay. Alright guys, sing along. Now that we're men, we can do anything. Now that we're men, we are invincible. Now that we're men, we go to Shell City and get the crown. Save the town and Mr. Krabs. Now that we're men, we have facial hair now that we're men. I changed my underwear now that we're men. We got a manly flair. We got the stuff. We're tough enough to save the day. We never had a chance when we were kids. No, no, no. But take a look at what the mermaid did. Ha, ha, ha. I don't remember this part. But it Actually, this part did happen in the song. At like the very beginning of the song, this part actually did happen. He went th he went through a monster and came out like the other end through a fucking door. <laughs> I'm so happy I didn't hurt it. Uh what what, what hold on, I'm trying to think of the part. Because I know the fucking script by heart. Alright, SpongeBob's dead. He fucked up. Wait, what? Okay, I guess you are just allowed to die. Alright. I didn't even make it to the other side. I don't know why I let me do it. Okay, SpongeBob's fucking dead again. Oh my god, he's double dead. We can do anything now that we're men. We are invincible now that we're men. We go to Shell City. And get the crown, save the town, and Mr. Krabs. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have to bungee part, so. Yes. Frozen lava does it. So this would be like right after. We're gonna have to pretend they just made it past because there's a giant fucking lava lake. We can't exactly recreate the movie. We damn well, tr we damn well can try though. Oh, <laughs> uh, this would be. No, that they're men. Yeah. All right, we guys, we got three. Cause we had to keep skipping shit. Another cutscene. There's Dennis. <laughs> you know that picture of the guy that's yelling with a small brain and the guy who's just taking it with a big brain? 
Yeah, if you watch the SpongeBob movie, whenever uh, the tough fish is yelling at Dennis. Hold on, I'm trying to think what he, what he said. You, know. you may not know it, cowboy, but we got a rule around here about blowing bubbles. All bubble blowing babies will be beaten since. You know that scene? Where Dennis fucking punches him to the sky? Yeah, that's what that scene reminds me of. Shell City, dead ahead. Mindy, are you fucking okay? Mindy's having a fucking heart attack. Uh, okay, this is the farthest we can make it here. <laughs> That's in a different language. What the fuck is this to? I don't think I ever actually got this one in the original game. Shell City did a head. They got kidnapped by a fucking Cyclops, which means I... Really? They got kidnapped by a Cyclops, so we completely skipped this level. Name's Dennis. You have to skip this, too. Sunday Driving, that scene was cut out of the movie. Skip that, too. There's three fucking things we have to skip. Googly eyes and smelly knickknacks. Here the fuck we go. This level has a really fucking stupid ring. Dude, the rings in this level fucking suck. This is Shell City? What a horrible place. Shell City? There must be a way out. What the fuck happened? Okay. Technically, the scene happened, and that's a really strong technically. Go over here. Hee 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 hee, wrong way. Uh, they did. Now, technically, that is true. That is technically true to the movie. That's where they did wake up. Even though they never actually, like, slided on the crown, this scene technically did happen, so... Because, like... Like, water. This is... Uh... Where we're at in the movie right now is after Spon- uh, basically, like, during Spongebob's death. That's what's happening right now. We're at the scene during Spongebob's death. Because that- because, uh, in the original movie, a teardrop, uh, enabled the water and brung Spongebob back to life. So, technically, since he is, uh, since he is- Woo! Nice save. Since he is bringing the, uh, like, like, he's enabling water throughout the entire place. He is technically dead. It's canon. Did you know Spongebob movie is actually canon to the series? It actually is. Which means Spongebob actually did fucking die. And that's canon to the series. How do I know this? Uh... Season 12, episode, uh, Patrick gets a job, I don't know what that episode's called, but Patrick gets a job at Goofy Goobers, and you actually see, like, the, like, annoyed Goofy, uh, Goober worker, like, in one of the scenes, so, which means all the events of the Spongebob movie did happen, and I think the French narrator is, like, the Cyclops, right? <laughs> Holy shit, I'm sneezing and I'm still doing pretty good. Damn. Uh, 
Um. There's actually a pretty giant skip that I know how to do, and I think it's really cool how to show you guys. You gotta be fucking kidding. There they go. That's like the worst glitch of this entire fucking game. That's why the rings are so fucking difficult to do in this level, is because of that glitch. And that the rings do, like, stupid fucking paths that don't make any sense. <coughs> I need to know, is the French narrator, uh, the Cyclops? Because they wear the same suit? <coughs> Shit. Because, like, they wear the same suit. I think. Maybe. Okay. I have a theory. A sponge, uh, SpongeBob theory. Okay. The French narrator was the Cyclops. The one that stole SpongeBob Patrick and put him in his gift shop. But after the events of the movie... Uh, after the movie... And, like, after the giant fight scene with all the, uh, knickknacks and the Cyclops, what happened was, uh, they both came to an agreement not to fight anymore, sort of like a peace treaty. They made a peace treaty, and now they both swear to never fight again and to actually help each other out. That's why in the episode... Where, uh, uh, f uh f fer Fertile Friends, I think is what it's called. Fetal Friends, I don't know what it's called. But Fertile Friends, I'm, that's what I'm gonna call it. But it, that's why in that level, you see the Cyclops helping Sandy out. How do I get over there? What? What do you mean, how, what do you mean by that, SpongeBob? Fucking... You're on the crown! King Neptune's crown, but you're still on a fucking crown. How is this related to your ancestors? How did they feel about this? So, the fucking SpongeBob's ancestors, they do this like every day. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys a picture. It, it relates to over there. So, I'll probably show you after, like, I finish the speedrun. Well, I guess I'll make an attempt to show you. I'll probably forget about it. But there's a trick to, like, skip, like, halfway through this thing, and that actually makes, like, the time trial really fast. Okay. Here we go. You left a trail of debris in your way, but we're at forty three minutes. Cool. All right. All right, we have four. I think you complete the game with fucking six. After escaping the hideous fate that awaited them in the clutches of the Cyclops, how the fuck am I going to do King Neptune without killing the uh the guy? Well. Actually, technically, I am allowed to kill them. Because, like, destroying the helmets off their head. I want to buy the fucking trousers that he wore in this movie. But they're like fucking $900, and I don't have that money to spend. On fucking shorts. Framed Stein shorts by Hasselhoff. Damn Strikes Back. We need to do this for five minutes. Put object off the hindquarters. Bigger boob, but how? That looks like bigger boob, but how? That's not from the movie. That's like my favorite line of the entire movie. I'm not kidding. That's like my favorite line of the entire movie. Ah, ten. 
this? Did you miss me? Uh, now we need to get slapped the fuck out by him. Come here, Dennis. I got something really funny to show ya. Where are you going, Dennis? Come here, Dennis. It's something really fucking funny. Hey. Right. So if we're following the events of the SpongeBob movie, we would need to be over here. Because, like, this is the closest that we're getting to, like, and we need to say, NEVER! There we go. And then, uh, he fucking dies. Right. Welcome to Planktopolis. Ah, shit. Wait, we wouldn't do this level. We wouldn't do Welcome to Planktopolis. Because, after David Hasselhoff, they shoot him into the water, and then Goofy Goober Rock. So technically, we don't do this level. I think we actually beat the game of five. So, which means this is the last level. Should I play Five Nights at Treasure Island? Spongebob! There's a scene in season 12, I think in season 12, where Spongebob gets thrown into the trash can. And all I can think about when I saw that scene was, uh, is that... Is, fuck, is, is that run cheese in the trash? No way, in a minute, it's Spongebob. I made you to... You can't see. Okay. Right. I'm a goofy. Oh wait, hold on. This is actually the only upgrade we need to do. Is Sonic Wave. Yeah, that's that's literally the last upgrade we have to do. That's like the only upgrade we're allowed to do is Sonic Wave, and that and you have to upgrade it in this place because that gives us uh the Goofy Goober guitar. Rock. Remember, we're not allowed to upgrade our health. So technically, we're almost done with this game. Uh, this speed run. Uh, I basically describe the rules as I go on. So you have to enable two cheats, basically. I think they all are. You know, this never actually happened in the movie. And hopefully, it doesn't glitch out. Oh my god, I forgot the controls aren't reversed like they are in uh, Rehydrated. Alright, I have close enough. I'm actually really happy I'm most done with this. I might actually like attempt speedrunning this category. And also, no, you don't have to use the sonic waves on fucking everybody in the crowd, okay? You're welcome. <laughs> the trick to the laser gun is only move left and right. Because like when you're going ah, shit. When you're going up and down, like, it's, like, it's incredibly hard to dodge it. The fuck, stop, did Plankton block my fucking attack? Righteous, the helmets can't handle this level of rock and roll. Karen, do something. Karen? Ugh. That's the last straw. Neptune, I command you to... Here you go, Daddy. I better get out of here. Uh, a really good trick to do is, uh, just let him do these fucking attacks. 
And then when you get to the uh, gun part, where he starts using his fucking uh, trident as a gun, then like turn the tables. Cause like this is a pretty difficult attack to dodge. From personal experience. Especially when you're playing on emulator and this fucking thing disappears off screen. I think it does this here too, but it's way more harder to do because you know, real real hardware. And it isn't slow. This is, like, it isn't difficult, because you're only getting, like, five tokens that actually matter in this percent. But it's still, like, incredibly difficult, because, like, you can't really hurt anything. You're not allowed to upgrade. Like, it's still pretty difficult. It's not as dis difficult as, I think it's called, like, uh... Like Pokemon Anime Percent or Ash Percent, I just call I've just been calling it Ash Percent because it's like closest enough to it. But it's not as difficult as Ash Percent Pokemon Red because like that you have to basically recreate an entire fucking season of a show, not a show but an anime. While this one, you're just recreating a movie that's not that long. Okay, guys, get ready. Fucking stop blocking my shit. Here we go. <laughs> I'm a goofy goober. <laughs> oh, that's an actually pretty nice skip. You see, this one's easier to dodge. But still pretty difficult. Wow. There's a fucking teardrop in my eye. And it's annoying me. Fuck! Goddamn. You are allowed to kill the enemies as long as you use the sonic guitar on them! Fuck it, you're allowed to kill them. There, fuck. You're allowed to punch them. That's only to make this fucking easier. If you're desperate, you're allowed to punch them. Or if you just fucking hate this section. This is like the worst part about this fucking game. How the hell did I punch you? Holy shit, that was... Okay. Right. Can't handle this level of rock and roll. <sighs> Fuck it. I need to do that. Please, please, a Krabby Patty. Fucking anywhere. Oh, fuck. 
I need to go back. Look at this one. They're like both right in the middle. No. You're not killing me. No! Fuck! <laughs> it's literally right fucking there of ending this goddamn timer. I literally pressed down, and since SpongeBob does that stupid fucking turning thing, he fell. Hey, heck, fuck, I might actually hit like an hour and 29 minutes. Fucking fair. Now it's jump rope. I hope I can actually do it this time. Did I go through his fucking tail? Hold on. Where's his hitbox?
that is like the last thing I need, bro. Get fucked. Okay, I have successfully hit in an hour. Time! There you go. Ah, technically that's more accurate. One hour and 25 seconds. Five tokens. I don't know if it's last cutscene or token. It was my first actual like serious speed run. And it was like a dumb meme speed run. Fifteen. There you go. One hour and twenty-five seconds. Ocean man. Oh, ocean man, you take me by the hand, lead me to the land that you understand. Oh, ocean man, a voice to the corner of the globe is a real trip. Ocean man, the crust of a tan man right by the sand, soaking up the thirst of the land. Ocean man, can you see it through a wonder of amazement at the open man? Ocean man, grand by the tan man right by the sand, soaking up the thirst of the land. Ocean man. Take me by the hand, leave me to the land that you understand. Ocean man, the voice to the corner of the globe is a real trip, 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 ocean man. I've been around a tan man right by the sand, soaking up the thirst of the land, ocean man. Okay, I'm gonna show you that cool trick now. An hour and 23 seconds, I think, is what it said. Yes. Alright. So, recreating the movie slightly. What you need to get is no cheese, uh, escape from bikini bottom and sandwich driving. Now that we're men, here monster and ice monster, and once you get to the inside the monster where you have to throw bubble bowl at the monster, you want to immediately go to frozen lava desert to get the token. Uh, googly eyes and smelly knickknacks escape the shell city cyclops. Like, you still have to play some of these levels, you just can't finish them. And defeat Buckethead King Neptune. Yeah, that, that's that's basically the ones you have. Like, those are the tokens you are going to get, but you still have to play all the levels that are in the movie. Like, you're still gonna have to play every level. 
Like, you're gonna play No Cheese, you're gonna play I'm Ready Depression, at least the first cutscene of it, where Patrick's waking up. You have to play Sandwich Driving. You have to play 3,000 Miles of Shell City until you get to the uh, fighting part. Remember, you're not allowed to hurt anything. Uh, skip this level. You're you're supposed to play this. Don't hurt anybody. Uh, no weenie parking anytime. Just do a singular lap. Uh, just completely skip this. Because it's a boss battle for a boss you're not allowed to fight. Rock slide. Skip this. Now that we're men, again. Until you get to the part where you're supposed to throw the bubble bowl. Don't hurt anybody. At a monster so you can ride it past the lava. You just meet, like, do not do that. Just skip to lava. Frozen lava desert. Shell City Dead Ahead is... Uh, get as far as you can in this. Actually, no, skip this level. You're not supposed to do it. Because this never happened in the movie. Uh, skip this. Skip this because it never happened in the movie. Googly eyes and smelly knickknacks. Uh, yeah, j just do the first token. Defeat Dennis again. Just be on, just be on the level for about a minute. I don't know, just play a tiny bit, have some, uh, okay, no. What you want to do is go on to the left, left arm and jump onto the body, since that's the closest to the scene where Spongebob's jumping from the left leg to the right one. No, it was the, it was the right leg. Whichever fucking arm you choose, go on one and then jump to the body. Uh, welcome to Planktopolis. Skip this and skip this, since af after this, you're supposed to be shot into the Krusty Krab. And then just do this. I could try to show you the trick in, uh... Fuck. <coughs> All right. I'll show you the trick in this. In case you're planning on speedrunning this game, and you're doing the time trial for this level, this is how you beat this level the fastest. Yeah, this is the fastest way to beat this level. That I uh, that at least I figured out. I think it's just beyond this until you get to. Then you can straight up just jump over here. Then over here. Then right here, just do this. Yeah, die right there. That's important because it skips because it skips you like halfway into the slide. Like that actually skips quite a bit. Personally, this is the fastest way I found out how to beat the slide. Yeah. Again, you don't have to do this for a SpongeBob movie percent, but still. Yeah, uh, that was SpongeBob movie percent. That was SpongeBob movie speedrun. Hope you guys liked it. That was Spongebob Movie Percent. And what I, if I remember, one hour and 23 minutes. 23 seconds.